I woke up to the noise of tapping at my window. The Wonder Twins, and welcome to our new video. In today's video, we are going to be reacting to a horror film from a channel called Thriller Teller. And the story is called, Not Everything We See in Sleep Paralysis is a Hallucination. And if you have never heard of sleep paralysis, it's basically like um, hallucinations when you sleep. When you sleep, you can see hallucinations of ghosts or other mythical creatures you can see. Also, um, you you can't move like sometimes. Oh yeah, you can like, like what? That's why it says paralysis. Like you're basically paralyzed. In just for a few seconds. Yeah, just for a few seconds. Okay, well, we never reacted to this story before, and um, and I'm, I'm excited. Really excited. I'm really excited. Yeah, dude. and uh, we're not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. Oh, and enjoy the video. Okay, so we're now in. Let's start the video. There we go. Okay. Thriller teller. This is exciting. Oh yeah, I'm excited. Not everything we see in sleep paralysis is My name is Amber, and ever Hi, since Amber. my childhood, I've experienced sleep paralysis a lot more than the average person. And let's just say, it's one of the most unpleasant things you can experience. Since childhood, I've always had vivid true. hallucinations like, when I'm experiencing sleep paralysis. sleep paralysis, you'll see it's mythical creatures, scary, even to or this demons. Day. This story is one of the most terrifying things that have and ever will happen to me in my lifetime. It all started in late January. I had just moved into this new house in a small village on the Good island of Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii is nice. Deep pond, yeah. And I got it for a good deal because it was supposedly haunted and no one else wanted to purchase it. A haunted house? But I never really believed yeah. in the paranormal or anything like that. So I just saw okay. the good deal on a decent sized house and took house, it. House, but yeah. A few weeks after buying the house, a oh, big so snowstorm snowing. hit one Snow night, day. the pond go out and snowing me in. Oh, so that it makes it light and I couldn't storm. see a thing, so I decided uh, that I would head to bed yeah, early and get an early start in unloading boxes the next day. I hopped into yeah, bed, one of the hardest pulled part of my blankets in. over me, like, and you have fell to asleep unbo in the unbox pitch black all the, the boxes. Unpack all the boxes. And it takes all day. I woke up to the noise of tapping yep. at my window. I tried to get up, but realized like I couldn't kid. move at all. Sleep paralysis took over my whole body. The strange oh, boy kept staring at me. His eyes were pitch yeah, black, as if he had no pupils. Almost he had like a kid. wide, inhuman, devilish grin, and his teeth. Yeah, the, the grin reminds me of Pennywise's grin. Yeah, I was terrified and wanted to scream, but I couldn't, and was forced to watch him. I kept telling my mind that it was just a hallucination. But it was a lot more vivid than Wait, can she close her eyes? I mean, most I like one of the best ways that you can avoid sleep paralysis is to close your eyes and don't with, open them as soon as they're. I oh, calmed I, myself, thinking it's all going to be over soon now. My fear started to that? rise when I heard that? the noise of clanging in the kitchen. Did he break into my house? Did he? he? Was getting paranoid, I couldn't move. I strained my eyes to try to see the bedroom door through the darkness, and I could see something. Man, that's the longest sleep paralysis she had. A figure standing on the other side of my bedroom like door. Or 30 seconds. Yeah. He slowly opened the door. Oh my goodness! It was the boy. I could hear every footstep he made. He continued to creep towards my boy. bed. And I, I could see his devilish grin the from the corner of my eye. He just stood there for minutes, and it was lasting longer than any sleep paralysis I had ever experienced. Yep. I felt that I was about to die. I just close just your eyes. It would be over yeah. soon. Okay. See, she's closing her eyes. My prayers were answered, and I was finally able to move again. Oh, okay. that's so it was over then. The boy was gone. 
The next morning when I woke up, I felt something strange as I walked on the carpet. The carpet was soaking wet. And at that point, it hit me. So it wasn't a hallucination. Was it really a hallucination? Or did someone actually come into my room last night? I shared this incident or maybe with there was a rainstorm or something and there was a really really story game. about uh, the pond near my new house. I don't think it would rain with foot Back steps. in 1947, like footsteps yeah, yeah, were playing on the banks of the pond. One boy accidentally weird. tripped over a log and fell into the water. Oh, he couldn't Before swim. any of the other children could react, the boy sank beneath the water surface. Oh wait, what are for they doing? Moments, Can they go they get him? For him to resurface, but there was no sign of him. I think they were, I Horrified, think they, were too they ran and back they to the village to get help. To get help. Some local yeah, men did. came as fast as they could and dived into the pond, searching for the young boy. They were terrified by what they found. What the is boy it? was sitting on a rock at the very bottom of the pond. What? His what arms were hanging down what? by his sides, and his body was swaying back what and is forth he doing? from the currents. What? His eyes were wide, and his mouth was hanging Oops. open, That's really but he creepy. was dead yeah. in the water. The eerie sight sent shivers down the so spines of the men who had dived weird. in to save him. That is really weird. I mean, you don't die with your eyes open much much. No, you don't die like that. It was as if the boy had like calmly that. sat down on the rock and waited there to die. Yeah. Wait, what? Ever since, bizarre rumors began to spread around the area. Many villagers believed that the ghost of the drowned boy lurked beneath the deep waters of the pond. They said that at night he would come to the surface cold, wet, and shivering. His icy hands clutching at unsuspecting victims and trying to pull them into his watery grave. Wow. According to oh the rumors, he was trapped in this world by accident, and the only way he could escape was to find someone else to take his place at the bottom of the pond. So. Does that mean that he has to find As someone before, to replace his water grape really in order for him to be carnival, free? But that, that creeped sounds, the hell out of that me. That sounds like in a movie. After that, I put my house up for sale as I am no longer able to sleep peacefully in this house. A strange, eerie wow. feeling always keeps me restless. But unfortunately, so far, no one has come to view the house or made any offers as it was famous for being haunted. My current oh, so situation no does not allow story. me to rent a house, so I am stuck here. I just hope I am able to get out of this place. Good luck. It's the boy. That was the boy, definitely. Okay, well... That's gonna be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below what he wants to do next. Do not forget to subscribe to our TikTok and Instagrams. And we'll see you all in, in the, the next, next video. video. Bye! Bye.